what is going on a1 gang we're back with another video today today we have a 2019 dodge dodge durango rt blacktop now we did one of these a while back but it was when i was living in houston and uh, i wanted to do the srt because somebody asked me a while back to do the srt but uh they don't have any srts they're sold out of them so we're gonna do the rt and see if there's anything drastically changed i think i probably did it probably like a year ago or probably less i only have my channel for a little bit over a year now so it had to be it was early on though because when i started my channel i was living in houston so i i was because i was doing it all the time consistently like grinding but uh, I'm, I'm trying to grind now man it's just work is really in a way but we're gonna stop talking about all that stuff because hopefully we're, we're we're back to doing it regularly if not we're gonna make a way but uh you got the led lights right there in the front with the projectile bulbs you got the led fog lights down there as well they're tucked away very beautiful truck suv i like to call them a truck anything that's not a car so don't don't bash me if i call it a truck uh, you got the black rims right there as well too this this is the rt so it does have the 5.7 liter v8 engine in it putting out 375 horsepower and 410 foot pounds of torque so to me I, I i like this truck a lot don't get me wrong but if i was to get one i would have to get it at least the rt and it have to be all-wheel drive or the srt and all-wheel drive as well now the SRT has basically is basically a scat pack, but a Durango. That's basically what it is. It has a 6.4 liter V8 engine in it. So this one has a 5.7. But uh, let's start walking around getting you guys these. So you got the black uh, mirrors right here with the LED turn signal right there as well. You don't have the blind spot or anything in there. Um, you guys might not be able to see this stuff, but base model price is $43,995. Uh, you got a 5.7 liter v8 I'll, I'll show you guys something else so you got apple carplay and android auto you got the wi-fi you got an eight speed automatic transmission this color on the outside is called granite so it's the granite color you got 20 inch wheels that's what's on there they're called satin carbon wheels and what else do you have you have uh uh that's pretty much really all you have that's that's optioned in this vehicle um you got the black top package of course that was like uh that was like a thousand dollar option for that with the black gloss mirrors and a tow tow group with the hitch receiver and everything that was twelve hundred dollars got the third row power sunroof that was another brings the total price to this vehicle uh, fifty-one thousand ten dollars. It, ha it had a discount applied to it too. It's called the Sun and Seat Discount. But uh, you got the fourteen city, twenty-two miles per gallon in the highway, and seventeen miles per gallon combined. So let's get in here real quick. First, before we get in here, let's get you guys exhaust note. It is running because you you gotta have these cars already started before these videos start. Because that you you your ass will burn up out here. I ain't even gonna lie. This Georgia heat or something else. And we in September and it's 90 something degrees it's like 96 or something like that it's, it's ridiculous it's something crazy but uh let me give you this has the 5.7 in it just like that challenger that green that lime green challenger that we did but it's not aggressive sounding like that one was so but uh let's get y'all this exhaust note kind of quiet i guess if you do a muffler delete or even change the exhaust out put some boilers or some flow mass or something on there to make it louder but i went ahead and turned on those those headlights for you guys as well as well as the fog lights so you guys can get a better look at it as you can see it's got a bit more aggressive look to it with the lights on we'll take a picture of it real quick for the instagram bam just like that very nice truck 
Uh, you got the sensor on this door and the uh, passenger door over there as well too. So in here you got the black uh, leather Napa seats, Napa leather seats with the Dodge logo, the little two little stripes now that they're doing. On the door you got the soft touch material with like some type of carbon material, not carbon look, but uh, it's got like its own little pattern, whatever you want to call it. You got the memory seating right here, automatic up down driver and passenger windows. The back windows you gotta manually hold them and then do all of that good stuff. You got a little tweeter up here too. Let's go ahead and get in here because I'm out here sweating like crazy and it is hot. And uh, it's just a beautiful overall car, guys. Uh, let's see here. So right now it's saying, I don't know why the dash is so dark. Oh, I got the lights. <laughs> All right. So right there, it's 105 degrees out there, guys. So as you can see, that's why I said I, I had to get from out there. <laughs> um, got your trailer brake right here. If you're towing something, you can break it. You know, different things like that. Uh, over here you got your automatic lights, fuel uh, cap, fuel door release, the dash is leather stitched, well it's got the little striping right there for the stitching. Uh, very beautiful place, you got the digital little display right there in the middle, you got 140 on the dash, um, analog gauges but they look digital as well too just because that screen is right there. Paddle shifters in here as well voice recognition you can cycle throughout the menu right here too uh, you do got heated and ventilated seats in here controls ventilated seats I'm gonna actually turn mine on because this is hot out here uh, heated steering wheel backup camera uh, there's your backup camera you can see that guy that's pretty well uh, you got an eco mode and sport mode so when you put on a sport mode it shows the vehicle with a flag off to the right side of it as well too and it turns your eco mode off and it turns off your parking sensor as well too so let's turn that back on all right so you got the traction control right there dual climate control as well 12 volt charger two usbs and an aux cord input two cup holders here you can also manually shift it with this too or you just do it with the paddle shifters which i think would be best two-tier uh, storage console right here you got your 12 volt down there a lot of room in there as well too I can't remember the one that we did when we was in Texas I don't know if that one had a rear entertainment package or not but you can't get them with a rear enter entertainment package uh, books and everything in there let's go ahead and get in the back real quick and I'm gonna actually pop the hood for you guys so we can look underneath there As you can see, we got the captain chairs back here. Same material on this door that's on the front door as well, too. <laughs> Storage pocket right here, too. You got the vents right here so you won't burn up. Two USBs and heated seats. And you got the 150-watt charger, which we call that the wall charger. You got two of them cup holder things right there. And you got the armrest right there, too. You got your climate controls for back here too what else so this is kind of weird though even though you got the uh captain chairs you still got to step over because you don't want to step on on nobody's drinks or nothing like that so you're gonna make your way back here just like this and then now this is why i liked it this vehicle when i first reviewed it as well the leg room is good i'm not that tall by the way guys i'm like five seven five eight says it's plenty of times before but I'm comfortable back here like I can go on a road trip I'm I'm real comfortable I'm, I'm, I'm fine back here so headroom is good I mean I'm not bunched up my knees aren't crunched in the back of the seat even if I do sit them straight up like I'm still I'm comfortable like I can move them but if you like six foot something yeah you're gonna have a problem you have a problem in any cars if you six foot something but uh you shouldn't be in a in the third row no ways but to each his own but I'm, I'm like I said I'm comfortable you can definitely fit back here comfortably on a road trip so that's I think that's another reason why I liked it, this vehicle as well too so it's just something to think about let's go ahead and look in the in a, the rear part oh we already looked back there <laughs> my fault guys 
I'll be forgetting sometimes. So this is where your toe hitch is at right here too. You just pull that up off and your toe hitch is back there. Let's go ahead and look underneath the hood real quick. See that beautiful 5.7 liter V8. If I can figure out where it is at. There we go. That's the heart of this beast right here, the 5.7 liter V8. And uh, like I said, it is really, oh, really, 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 really quiet. So with that muffler and everything, you probably, you could probably liven it up with, with some different exhausts. But uh, it's very fun. As you can see, you got the hood scoops and they are real. They do suck in the air as a little too. They do suck in the air as well too. So it's a very beautiful uh, truck. But uh, guys, just like that, this video is over. <laughs> and it's hot as hell out here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see y'all in the next.